Hey everyone, this is Josh with a cybersecurity related tutorial available at chaintuts.com. Today, this tutorial is targeted at a little bit of a different audience than maybe some of you folks that are already in the cybersecurity or crypto space. Today, we're talking about your typical tech support scam. I did a real live scam bait. Now, scam baiting is the practice of uh, individuals like, like myself that know what's going on with a particular type of scam, um, calling up real scam call centers and basically wasting the time and resources of an actual scammer. This is done uh, for educational purposes like I'm doing today to show you how this type of scam actually operates. And um, some popular streamers like Jim Browning, Kit Boga, and Scammer Payback even do this on the regular to really waste the time and resources of scammers so that they can spend less time preying on actual victims. This type of scam is, is actually fairly common and they operate in a number of ways. Sometimes they will directly call individuals using auto dialers and many times they simply buy malicious advertising or um, malicious web properties that will uh, show like really scary pop-ups about computer infections or uh, computer issues uh, and sometimes even masquerading as legitimate support for a company like Microsoft or Apple. In this case, I found this particular number circulating on a forum for scam baiters. So I didn't see the type of advertising that they were trying to use, but I did question this individual about his company uh, and he would not reveal the secret of his advertising magic. So what these scammers will do is they'll connect to your computer using a remote connection software, often Team Viewer. Um, in this case, he used a, an alternative software called UltraViewer. And he tried to do a bunch of things to my computer to improve performance that were completely illegitimate and unnecessary. For example, he went into the, into the registry and updated values so that when you did a right click or you moused over something, the window would simply pop up faster. He also talked about scary disk corruption, uh, disk sector corruption, which um, I can say as somebody that works tangentially to file systems engineering uh, is not a legitimate terminology that's used for actual support operations. He's just trying to prey on somebody that doesn't understand the technology well. He even tried to claim that a disk defragment was necessary when in fact this was a brand new virtual machine with zero sort of any fragmentation in the file system. And what was so fascinating about this call that I did not expect is when it confronted this scammer went to great lengths to morally justify how he makes his living. Um, he argued for 20 minutes with me that um, this service that he was doing was legitimate and that there was nothing wrong with uh, how he was essentially preying on people and selling them $200 computer service that is unnecessary. So a couple warning points, of course. You should never let anybody remote connect to your computer unless they are actually 100% your friend or family. Um, you know, if never allow a stranger on the phone to get remote access to your computer. They could do a lot worse than this particular scammer tried to do to my virtual machine. They could install malicious software, steal private information used to steal your identity, or any number of things once they have full access to your machine. In this case, this person was just trying to sell me on unnecessary and fraudulent support services. But in general, you should never allow someone to connect to your computer in this way. Now, I did this safely by using what's called a virtual machine and a virtual computer and a burner Google Voice number. So no, this scammer does not have access to my real computer or my real phone number. Because I thought this call and this whole interaction was so interesting and actually went on a lot longer and deeper than I expected to, uh, I'm gonna preserve the entirety of this call um, for this video. So this has been the rough overview, sort of the tutorial section. And if you're interested, stick around and watch how a real live tech support scammer interacts with their victims and how they even try to justify the living that they make when confronted. Hope you find it interesting and informative. 
calling support. This is Harry. How can I help you? Uh, hello, Harry. Um, my my computer started acting up. I I got a a pop up message and uh, it said that uh, I needed to contact technical support. I uh, kind of okay. got it closed out, but I'm I'm confused as to what happened here. No problem, sir. I'll go and check it out. What kind of pop up is it? It was on. Uh, I was just trying to look for for games to play on my computer on my on my internet uh -huh. that my son, my son set up for me and I it just started yelling at me and it had a pop up and I, I don't know what to why my computer is broken so I'll just go and check it out is this a laptop or a desktop it's a uh, uh I don't know what it's the one that you it's a tower it stands up on the desk all right not a problem sir I'll just go ahead and check it out. All right. May I have your email address, please? Sure. It's, um, let me see. My, my son wrote it down here. right now the way i'm working right now we'll just go and service your computer remotely okay i suppose we can do that but that will take approximately uh, an hour and a half what time is it now by your watch oh uh, it's about uh 11 uh 30. 11 30. yeah 11 30. so it should be done by one o'clock would that be fine with you you won't be able to use your computer at all you need to leave your computer alone, and technician would be working on your computer to fix it. Okay, I suppose that's that's fine. I guess I'll just keep keep an eye on it then, and just don't touch it. Of course, of course, you can keep an eye on it, and technician would be working on it. So I would need uh, a few details from you. Uh, Would you please write the write these information down on there on, on your computer? Uh, sure, I can can do that. What uh, what do you need the address for? Your yep mailing address. That's right. Yes, uh, I was just curious why you maybe needed that for the service. This would be for billing. Oh, for 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 billing. Okay, so you'll send me a bill in the mail. No, it would be charged online. Okay. Okay, I have that fill out right, there. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Just give me a minute. So the whole servicing would be done on your computer. It will take approximately one and a half hour. And this would cost you $199.99, wherein you would get one year of... 
unlimited tech support. That means for next one year, whatever happens to your computer, we would be responsible for that and we'll fix it for free. One year of antivirus. Free service call. Wherein you can just call us and we'll service your computer. This is all you would get in one ninety nine ninety nine. All right, sir. Okay. Uh, how can I pay for that? I I don't really use credit cards. I can I write you a check or something like that, or can you send me you a can. bill? Yeah, you can write a check. Not a problem. So you need to write down your check number, your account number. and your routing number. All right. You can go ahead and write it down. Okay. I uh, got to go get my checkbook here. Uh, could you wait a minute? Sure. Go ahead. Sorry Hello? about that. Sorry about that, Harry. I don't know how we lost connection there. I don't know either. I was just saying hello, hello. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's okay. So I was saying that it was just a routine, uh, you know, clean up and routine check up uh, to do, you know, to speed up the computer, to remove the batch factor of your disk, to remove uh, unwanted, you know, files or any type of uh, virus you may have. I, I'm not sure. Okay. I was just running a scan and I could not find any virus or any any such, you know, bad things in your computer. But it's still we have to service it. Oh, okay. Well, uh, the the bad disk sector. Um, yeah, that sounds kind of scary. Bad bad sector of the disk. Bad, uh, it's it's like uh, when you have uh, you know something installed in your computer, you delete the, the, you you sometimes delete it, and you still have those files in your system in your disk. That's kind of you know become bad sector. I mean, it's not uh, the word might uh, might you know. Uh, be strange or scary, but it's not actually that scary. It's just the leftover files that you might have used it in the past and you don't use it anymore, but they are still in the computer. And the files that you have deleted from the computer, but somehow their, you know, temp things, their prefetch is still in the computer. That's, that's called a bad sector. I mean, it's not, uh, it, it, it might, scare uh, the you know, by saying it's bad sector but it's not that bad and yeah I guess the defragment my son said I should defragment sometimes if it if it uh, did the that's disc right. need defragmented exactly that's what I was doing and it was done about 20% then I lost the connection so I would I would do it again don't worry well Harry I um what if I told you that this is a brand new virtual machine and that uh, there's there's nothing wrong at all and that uh, I think you're trying to, to prey on, on vulnerable populations by claiming no, 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 that they need support? That. We are selling service. I mean, we, I'm not selling you something that you don't know. I'm selling you service. I mean, I'm, I'm ready to help you for, for next one year. It's a service I'm selling. I'm not selling you anything that you don't know. I'm, sell I'm selling you service up front. I'm not saying that, uh, you know, I'm, uh, you have this problem and that problem. You didn't say that. And I didn't say it either. Did I say that you have a problem in your computer? I just said the, the computer running a bit sluggish. That's it. Well, well, you did say my disk needed defragmented when there was 0% fragmentation on this disk because it is a, it is a brand new machine. So I, I think I think you know what you're doing, sir. I think you know, that's, and I, I don't. I I, I I hope you'll maybe reconsider trying to extract two hundred dollars from individuals that uh, maybe don't understand technology as well as I do. Um, See, so it's it's. I understand what you are thinking. Two hundred dollar, you are thinking right now, but what you are getting in two hundred dollar, that's what is the main. Thing that I'm telling you right now 
for one year whatever happens to your computer at least you have somebody to talk about so <laughs> it's not just the today that you are getting the computer fixed and gone it's the whole year whatever happens you just simply call this number and we are here to help that's the best part and we are protecting your computer the microsoft uh, antivirus that was there in your computer it was inactive and accidentally you were using avg free antivirus which shouldn't be there in your computer because that might conflict to the microsoft antivirus that you had in your computer i was activating that microsoft antivirus uh, which is uh, i guess which should be activated because i was done with that and was doing the scan thing it is done you can see it on your computer somebody or maybe automatically the microsoft service of this antivirus was stopped in your computer and i turned it back on so you so so you turned on microsoft antivirus which is already on exactly. there you you ran a defrag on a 0% fragmented disk and uh so you're talking about a, a disk sector right it's just a routine thing i mean it's not something science i should tell you about it's very basic routine to you know go with a smooth computer i mean you want to use your computer as smooth as everybody else's computer you just have to repeat these steps you know once in a while i mean once in 3 months or 4 months and your computer should be good to go and these days you know it better there are a lot of viruses malware spyware you know keep coming into your computers so you might not had it in the past but you might have it in the future so at least you would have somebody to have it fixed well i i i got i got to give you credit for trying to keep up the ruse sir but this is i mean this is this is a scam i'm actually doing a video um to educate people on this this type of activity so um uh -huh. it's very very interesting and uh, i hope i hope people find it informative so uh i hope maybe you'll okay. reconsider doing something well, with your time did i did i do something wrong with you yes I mean, if you're thinking that yes yes what, you what did, did uh, uh you you are sell, trying to sell uh services that are completely is, is unnecessary something... This, there's no there's you don't there's no such thing as a bad disk sector sir i work on file systems for for yeah, a living let's put it that way let's put it that way if <laughs> there is nothing called bad sector in the disk however everybody is not as smart as you are people need help to uh, you know maintain their computer you may be uh, you're uh, making a video or whatever you want to call it anybody who so ever would listen to this video would not say that i was trying to scam you i was upfront asking the money to provide you the service i am not saying that there is do you think is there something wrong to you know sell the services i don't think so uh i think there is when the the services are completely illegitimate and fraudulent there there's nothing wrong with this computer fraudulent? this isn't what is fraudulent this is this is a brand new virtual machine that has absolutely still, no problems I've with it. I've got all the rights. Still I've got all the rights to pitch you for the sale. I'm not saying you your computer has been, uh, you know, uh, attacked or 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 a virus or for that matter any problem in whatsoever in your computer. I'm selling my service. What's wrong in it? I mean, you probably would have, uh, you know, come across with the guys uh, who probably would uh, threat you and uh, probably would uh, you know uh, do something wrong with you and then ask for money that if that if that's the thing you are looking on the call you won't get it i'm a pure salesman i sell my service that's it i don't do bad on the computer i i'm not doing anything bad with you i'm not using bad language i'm not using bad tactics to sell anything i'm doing pretty much ethics That's an interesting perspective I would say cuz uh there's like I said there's nothing wrong with this machine I think you're just trying to sell something that is Service. unnecessary and that, and that is that is that is fraud. Well how, how is it unnecessary? 
am I asking you $200 to fix your computer right now? No. I'm selling the service for one year. What is unnecessary? Do, uh, are you, uh, can you predict that you would not have a problem for next one year? Can you predict that? You can't predict it. And there are, you know, millions of people who have problems with their computer. You know it better. You, you're pretty smart man. You know it better. So there are millions of people who have problems and that's why they take their computer to the technician shop, to the geek. That's right. And uh, so, so your number. How, how do you how do you doing. advertise your service? How do you how do you advertise? How do people find your your number to get to get your service to yeah, get your sales pitch? That's the secret. Yeah, that's the secret. Yeah, it's I a secret, it right? Because it's probably a scary pop up. I happen, no, no, I, I, I happen to find your number on a, a on a forum it's, for individuals. It's not a scary pop-up. It's not a scary pop-up, let me tell you that. We pay for the advertisement. It's not a scary pop-up. We, uh, we are not scaring people. You probably didn't tell, you know, but you might, you are, you, I would not say that, uh, you know, you're trying to, act as, as uh, you know, smart man, but you are not that smart. Let me tell you that. I, I am a salesman for the last 14 years. And I've actually come across with people like you, maybe millions of people that I've talked with, they were much more smarter than you. And I had sold my products to them. So you, you're not that smart if you're thinking. If you put this video on YouTube or any forum for that matter to for the um, for awareness, people would say <laughs> this is there is nothing to you know there is nothing to look into this video. There is nothing wrong with it. Nobody would say the salesman is wrong. Nobody would say that I would I was trying to scam. Nobody would say that I did anything wrong with you. So this is this operation is absolutely rubbish. You could have find, find someone who probably would not be a salesman or probably would, you know, would not do the ethics right. You probably would find your video somewhere else, not to me. You can't find anything wrong with me. Well, let me ask you one last question then, sir. This, uh, this secret Ron. advertising that you do, uh, what, uh, mm -hmm. what is the name of your company? And do you advertise you as, as this company or do can't you pretend tell, to be Microsoft? You. Can't tell you. Did I say I'm a Microsoft? No, I did not say it. You can listen to the whole call that you recorded and you would not find. So what's you would not find saying anything wrong or on the whole call that I actually took with you. You can't find it, man. As I'm telling you, you, how old are you? That's fine. That's right. I didn't. I didn't hear that you say that you were Microsoft, but I'd be very curious to know how how you advertise because you say that's a secret. No, no, I, I, well, I, what's the secret? I'm, well, but that's the advertising team they are managing it. I'm not sure what they are doing with it, but that's pretty much sure that uh, it's not a pop up or something that which is illegal. We are not doing anything illegal. We are advertising on on uh, the forum, on uh, like Bing, like Microsoft, we are advertising and we are paying them to advertise as everybody else does. I mean, as Amazon do, as, as Flipkart and a lot of, a lot of, you know, e-commerce side do, they advertise and people come to them and they buy product. Same with us. We advertise, people come and we sell our service. What's uh, the name of your company? Can't tell you now. You you can't tell me that. Yes, now I can't tell you. Oh, you, oh, okay. So you're a legitimate company, but you cannot tell me the name of the company, and and where you advertise. Uh, yeah, I cannot. I cannot right now because, you know, you know it better. You you you're recording the call, and uh, I'm I'm pretty much sure that you probably would put it in uh, somewhere. Uh, you know on YouTube or any tech forum for that matter. But this tech forum or whatever YouTube you put it on, they would only say that uh, you actually messing with the wrong guy. 
you can't do anything with me i mean you can't find anything wrong in me that's the reason i was asking how old are you me oh i i'm i'm 26 i'm actually a 26 year old computer programmer <laughs> so computer programmer yes well, but, but you are a computer programmer yeah that's right computer programmer that that's nothing to me 26 years old you, you can't play with me man I, i'm i'm a i'm a hardcore salesman i've been selling things for the last 14 15 years and people like you work at my place and i pay him i i pay people you know good amount of money boys like you they work for me many of them microsoft programmer microsoft you know technician certified technician did the certification from uk from us it's it's just a piece of cake for for me to be honest with you yeah it must be I mean, probably, i'm sure you get plenty of plenty of uh people that that will buy your um your your services um well you know, tell just... you the fact i've i've al already sold about uh not less than 20 million dollars not less than 20 million wow 20 million that's pretty impressive it's pretty impressive and that's, um that's the reason i'm saying boy so you it's so you can't really say uh, you can't say what the name of your company is though cuz you're not no. you're not you're not doing anything wrong as as you claim you're just course, selling people so I'm not doing so um of course I'm not doing anything wrong but I can't tell you I can't just uh, you know uh, let you defame my company why that that's absolutely impossible what are you thinking well do I look do I sound like a stupid man no, I no, so. I think you're very intelligent. Actually, I think I think people that that um, socially use use social engineering tactics. I think they're very smart. I just think they uh, are applying a skill set in a very um, unfortunate way. So you know, I hope you'll hope you'll perhaps reconsider that because uh, I know that nothing that you did on my computer was uh, legitimate whatsoever. Let me tell you, sir. You perhaps to reconsider yourself. Rather than looking into the other's business, what they're doing, you should mind your own business. I mean, this is the age you should make your career. This is not the way you should call someone and waste their time. I mean, you wasted almost two and a half hours of mine. Well, that's great because that's, that's, that's two and, two and, and a half, half hours. hours. You're not scamming an old person out of their, out of their money. Oh, well. That's the idea. I, well, vice versa. I was... I, I probably would have helped someone who's